This particular project is designed to remove 290,000 cubic yards of silted in material. As you watch, you can see that the clamshell is probably somewhere between four and five cubic yards of material. And as the crane cycles through, you can see how the hoist line goes out of plumb and causes the radius to increase, which equals a decrease in capacity. Each time it makes this cycle from out of the water, over the barge, and back into the water again, takes about two minutes. As it comes out of the barge, you can see, again, the change in plumb, which is a change in side load on the boom, and an increase in radius. This job will take approximately 58,000 cycles, or 1,900 hours of work. This type of frequency is called duty cycle work. Typically, manufacturers will derate the capacity of the crane and call for more frequent inspection due to the additional wear and tear that's placed on the equipment. Duty cycle is not the only challenge that a crane faces on dredge work. Here you can see that they're doing something called kedging, which is where they leave the clamshell buried in the mud and pull sideways on the boom to try to rotate the barge around the spuds. Some of the problems with side loading include excessive wear and tear on the shivs at the boom tip, the boom itself, and the boom foot. These types of operations on a barge create a number of unknown forces that travel through all of the equipment. And if you can imagine, this barge is on the water, so it moves from side to side and up and down as well. There's also the potential for some unpredictable release of those forces as the clamshell pulls out of the mud. As we continue to watch this operation, you can see that the crane operator develops almost a rhythm of pulling against the clamshell and rotating the barge. You can see now that the tugboat is also starting to push against the stern of the barge, helping to rotate around the vertical spud that's still driven deeply into the mud. Duty cycle and side loading occur not only on barges and dredge work, but also in land-based operations, pouring concrete, moving forms, etc. These types of operations can cause immediate catastrophic failure or long-term service issues. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and make sure that you increase your inspection on any cranes that may potentially be exposed to this type of work.